introduction. My name is and your name is. How many of you have difficulty remembering people's names? Okay, let's do that real quick. Here, here um, right down on the left-hand side, right down, uh, <coughs> three ways to remember customers' names. Three ways to remember customers' names. Number one is repetition. Number two is association. And number three is uh, write it down. Okay, so repetition, association, and write it down, which is kind of cheating, but we'll count it. Okay, common misconception about repetition. It's not the act of us saying the customer's name. That's kind of bizarre when we say it too many times. It's actually the act of us hearing the customer's name over and over again in that first 10 or 15 seconds. It's, it's, you're interrupting the pattern, especially if, if in that first few seconds you are, uh, are, are accustomed to forgetting customers' names. Uh, hi, my name is Michael. Yours is? Joy. Uh, sorry? My name is Joy. 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 Nice to meet you, Joy. Uh, is this the first time you're visiting us? Or yes. First time. Cool. So how many times, time out, how many times did I hear Joy's name? Three Six. times. Five. Four. Five. 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 She said it twice, I said it three times. That's how it's done, okay? Um, now, I don't, but if I had a loved one or a family member or a coworker named Joy, I could use association. And then writing it down, um, many of you have little notepads or up cards that you fill out. Um, uh, I would suggest that you give a business card up front if you're still using business cards, and then just take a business card and write their name down if you don't have a pad. Or hand the customer a business card. Say, could you jot down your name? My memory isn't what it used to be. And have them jot down the name. I have, or I had, gosh, it's probably a dozen, uh, probably 10, 15 years ago, uh, in Birmingham, a client named Adele. Her sales persona, her branding was auntie. Um, she was in her late 50s or so, maybe early 60s. Uh, she wore, the, what makes me remember her, or her anyway, her sales persona was Auntie Adele. She wanted to be non-threatening, right? She wore reading glasses with a chain, but she didn't need reading glasses. But she wore them so, and, and so that you know, she came off like how ants dress, right? And when she greeted, with, when she, and everyone's sweetie and sugar and honey, um, hi, my, my name is Adele, everyone calls me Auntie. What's your name? Justin. Justin. Nice to meet you, sweetie. And then she would take a name tag and write down Justin, and she'd go. <laughs> My memory's not what it used to be. And that's how she greeted customers. Now, you guys laughed. Customers laughed. But I want, I want you to think about that kind of greeting. How many of you believe, by a show of hands, how many of you believe differentiating yourself from other salespeople is important to closing more car deals? What do you think Adele just did? And she was... 15 years ago, she was crushing it. Crushing it because people trusted her. And if you want to get somebody to trust you, get up and laugh. Laughter is an excellent way to, to build rapport with customers. So, repetition, um, association, and write it down.